Who's creeping? You know. Don't mind. Oh, So there's a van driver pipping his arm at me when I'm doing a f***ing manoeuvre, silly CCTV enforcement, what a f***ing idiot Now you're in my f***ing way, you stupid Then f move! You f***ing idiot! Wait, I'm already going here, a tree, you f***ing morning Dave the Younger took an intro Made with a total budget of zero pounds Because I'm Yorkshire <laughs> Gaff! Yeah, so there's a f***ing CCTV enforcement guy, Ray, which you would think would have a f***ing brain in his head, who's trying to undertake me while I'm doing a f***ing manoeuvre to spin round. Ooh, I It's a bit tight. It's only a bit tight. What? No, it's literally ripping out the hedges. And literally as wide as the frigging road is. Man's just wiped out like 16 years worth of growth. The joys, eh? The joys. All right, because it's been such a shit week for you, I thought, fuck it, why don't we, why don't we get you involved in the modifications, the cheap modifications that I am doing? Um, obviously, we all know I'm cheap as shit. And I refuse to buy a thousand pounds worth of kit when I can just build it myself for next to no. Yeah. So this is obviously these are the, these are the marker lights that you all saw. All right. What I'm thinking. Oh well, you see who I'm getting at. You, you do, don't you? You see who I'm getting at. You see who I'm getting at. Luckily, uh, all of the amber ones came with these brackets, so we should be able to just fit them straight to this. Now the whole idea is that eventually I will be getting a, a metal sheet to cover all this. this. The reason why I want to do it is because this wrap is coming off on the edge here, so I want to get aluminium plate that goes all the way around it. But I ain't got that. Uh, I don't know where to get it from, so until I get it, what I'm going to do, I'll fit these like this, and then when I get the aluminium, I'll make it so it sits a little bit wide, and then cut the aluminium to fit these in. Simple? Simple. It's good, isn't it? That's how we do it. That's how we do it. My, uh... There we go. I think we'll fit these first. So, if you have a look up here, that there is the old one, and it's shit. I'm done. I'm dead. Right, the fun time, the fun part is knowing which way is right and which way is left. So that is right and that is left. Let me think about this, let me think about this. There we go. Bit of Bruce Brent, nobody, nobody. There we go, that's 
table's cut. Get the book in bed. <laughs> yep, that one's good. That definitely shit me up some. Yep, good. Right, let's come up over and have a look. Right, so here they are. Cool, yeah, cool. Basically, we just replaced that one. So we're placing that one with this one because it's black and because it, it's brighter. What we're going to do now is go wiring the cables, which it's just just for testing purposes, right? We're just doing it for testing purposes right now. So we will eventually, like, you know, get it all done properly. This is just me testing out if it, if it works, even though I've already fitted it, so it best work. Best fucking work. That is Dave's dodgy wiring. Yes. But it's obviously not staying like that. No. Why? Because we're not an idiot. Right, let's go put the light on. Let's see what it looks like. Right, cross, cross fingers, guys. Cross fingers, because... Uh, oh, well, so much shine on the back wall. And let's have a look. Oh. Oh. Right, don't stand directly in front of it. Don't blind yourself. Right, you can see that there. Yeah. So it has these little red uh, markers. I'm going to hook that up. That's the, that's the yellow cable, is that one? That's what I did earlier. Uh, that's the red cable. So I'm going to hook them up to these, the side lights. Because everything's going to get hooked up to these side lights. And it's all in this box. So we've got to fit these side lights now. We're going we're gonna to fit these wires properly, get them all so they're all tight and not going to end up sparking and making a fire. Right then, so let me put, let me put the light on because I took the light off. Right then, so we've uh, installed those lights, but I've also installed the primer lights. I don't know if you noticed last week that I bought those marker lights. I've, I've fitted them, I've fitted them. Yeah, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Do a decent job, let's have a look. Ooh. So you turn this light off, because I'm not sure if you're seeing this light. There we go. There we go. Little halo lights. Go way around. And you feel like that's it. And yeah, they're not always at the top, but you know, I'm determining whether to go to the top or leave it as it is. Um, but yeah, I think that looks tidy. It looks tidy, not too much, not too little. Um, obviously, I haven't got the indicators plugged in yet. I've only got the side lights done. Um, wiring's not too, I ain't done wiring too bad. I mean, we had an issue with that because that side opens up. We had to make the cable a bit longer. So you do see cable when it opens, but we can't fucking get around that, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'll get the indicators done next week. Um, and yeah. I don't think it looks bad, I think it looks smart. It looks smart. I spent 24 quid to make that perimeter lighting. 24! 24. 24 quid. I know you can tell it's 24 quid, but still. It's doing the same fucking job. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll have the indicators working next time. Uh, these at the moment aren't wired in, as you can see. They're just cabled there. Uh, wired all this and all this goes all the way up there. That's the cable, that round cable there. That is, when I open this, see, it needs that extension there. Well, can't do much about that. I have to deal with that. Uh, it all goes into that junction box over there. And yeah, these look sick as well. So yeah, all done. All good and groovy. Uh, I'm going to get it washed and then we're at work tomorrow at Brian Yeardley's. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Um, I hope it's dark. Good morning. Right, so this week is going to be a different kind of week. It's going to be a completely different kettle of fish. Um, we are not working for Howlets, we are, we, we are still working for Howlets, but we are not working for Howlets. We are, this week, working for Brian Yeardley. Hey. Right, so this week we are doing uh, work for Brian Yeardley's. Uh, we're basically taking event stuff to, like, big gigs, download. Yesterday we did Green Day and Food Fighters. Um, didn't record that because I didn't realise... I had to basically know the job first, right? So now I've, I've worked all that, I know the job. What is this? What is this magical piece of shit? It's just a big block, big block of blocks. Right, open it up, have a look in. There appears to be nothing inside. It will, it will make a lot of sense why it's not locked right now. Because uh, we need to go load. <laughs> hey, look at this. Is that a spare airbag? 
I don't know what that is, but it's there. Cool. Um, got loads of spare wheels. Got plenty of spare wheels on here. I'm never going to change a wheel, but yeah, there's spares. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Oh. Oh. Hey. Alright then, Soria. There is the stage, the big stage. Uh, I'm not sure what we're collecting. Apparently, I need a ramp, but I couldn't find one, and then I found the ramp. And. Uh, it's under here. It's under here, but I can't get it out. Because that pulls it away, so I've got off. You know what I mean? So I'll just reverse right out to friggin. Oh, like, yeah. I'll just reverse right out to him. Like, yeah, screw it. Just get it off there. Great, so we've been here around about nearly two hours, three hours maybe. Well, we've got a bit of 10, didn't we? We've been here about two and a half hours. What have we, coll what have we collected? See that stage there? See all the screens? That's what we've collected. We've got a shit ton of screens, uh, a load of video equipment, audio equipment. Uh, yeah. We're now going to Farmsborough, Aylesbury, which is uh, it's about, well, it's about three hours down south. Cool. then so good afternoon yes i said afternoon it's not morning it is afternoon so uh obviously we picked up the load from party party at the park what it was called so big festival sugar babes were there uh i didn't see him obviously but we picked all the equipment up obviously took it to four walls delivered that and now we have well i got told yesterday that i wasn't going to be at uh the next place till four o'clock in the afternoon i was to pick up a load at four o'clock in the afternoon and then go to donington for nine o'clock tomorrow 
it's very, it's very weird. This, this, this job. I just, it's, I find it very weird. Like you do this job, you don't, you don't really work that much. You just, you just, you mainly waiting half the time. So I've talked to Brian Yearly, well Melissa, and she says that you can get there for ten o'clock. And I'm like, well, I got told not until four o'clock. It's just well, you can get there if you want. They want you there earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to set off now. We're going to get there for about half eleven because I think that, I think that's a better time. Uh, get loaded up, and then they're going to give us a time to get to Donaton to download. So yeah, so we're going to go pick up a load of download stuff and then go to download tomorrow. Unless we get told we can deliver it today, which I hope we do. Um, but we'll see. So we're going to set off now. We're currently nine. We're currently ten miles away, and I don't know what we're picking up. We could be picking up audio equipment, stage equipment, uh, visual equipment, camera equipment. It could be out. Could be anything. Could be anything. I'd say this job is a lot more fun than my job, right? My job, literally, all I do is just deliver to um, businesses, and you know, just, it's just boring. It's just pallet work. It's pallet work, isn't it? It's, it's boring crap. If you're going to do this job, it has to be contracted work. You couldn't do this on an hourly pay basis. Say if I started at four o'clock today and then had to stop, because Donington Park from Birmingham is not far at all. I mean, well, it's about an hour, maybe even, maybe even less. So about an hour away from Birmingham. So depending on how long it takes to get loaded at this place, you were looking at about, what, three hours work in one day and then waiting to get into Donington. So, you know what I mean? Hopefully it takes them a bit. Yeah, we will say. So this is the first, uh, someone has actually stolen some fuel. Yeah, someone's actually been rummaging through my fuel tank. I've, I've, I've got, they must have stolen like what, 10 liter or something, they, they stole fuck all because I had half a tank last night and that says half a tank and I've looked in the tank and there's quite, they must just, I, how nice, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I only need just to get me to the fuel station. He must've been desperate. He must have been desperate. It was like, oh, I just need to get a fuel station down the road. You know, he's not going to put, like, unless he's stolen the diesel and then put diesel back in it because he felt bad. It's weird. It's weird. Because I, I had half a tank yesterday, so I don't know. That's strange. It's very strange. Well, at least he's left me with half a tank. That's, that's very nice of him. Um, yeah, so someone has been in my fuel tank. Um, I've been told I am collecting main stage PA equipment. Yeah, main stage PA. God, that, sound, that sounds cool, doesn't it? That sounds cool. Need this shit to make the magic happen. Without this shit, you ain't fucking performing. Ooh. <laughs> well, it looks like I got it at the right time, because uh, now... All year the trucks are now turning up, but I'm already on a bay. I'm already on a bay. Ball. Just noticed I am not the only subby for Brian Yardley's. <gasps> He's got the same trailer as me. And look, his ramp's easier to deal with than mine. Bastard, so he got the easy trailer. So yeah, there are a lot of subby for Brian Yardley's. All going to download. Fun times. Come down, it's up. Morning. 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 Got to fucking download. Let's go. Boring engines shaking the ground. Death trucks, the best around with power and strength. They're built to last. Hauling heavy loads, no challenge to last. Driving down the highway, fears and free. Drive trucks for the world to see The sweetest and the sight to behold The kings of the world Fucking Greg's time Brecky Brecky Greg's fucking Give me yes. a sausage tiny in this bitch We're truckers We eat Greg's <laughs> <laughs> We got told to go to Purple Gate. We got a map specifically saying to go to Purple Gate. So we all went to Purple Gate and then turns out we need to be a Blue Gate. So, fuck knows. Thank you. 
All right, that is us done at download. Uh, we delivered. We're now headed back to Featherston. Uh, tell you what, you, can, you can't beat the atmosphere. You can't. He's he's completely different to General Holiday's. This is uh, everyone is just so nice, and you know everyone shaking your hand and thanking you. It's just completely different atmosphere. And I'd love to do this full time, but. I I honestly would love to do this full time, you know, do uh, this job. But the thing is, it's not always local stuff. I mean, brand new, they tend to do a lot of like, uh, you know, overseas stuff, like you know, touring. You can be out for six weeks, three weeks, and it just it wouldn't work for me. Flash in the dark Every mile of 